news She said to pick her up but that's a bad call Hey guys, my name is Akronamu Ifini here and welcome back to my channel after such a long time. Here's the tea, I know I haven't been posting for a while, I think it's been over two weeks. Two weeks with no new videos, I know, I know, I know, I know, I apologize. However, we have a lot to talk about because I feel like I need to address this. I am a very typical youtuber when we don't post or like when youtubers content creators do not upload anything on their pages for a while we have to explain why so here is my life lately life update video welcome i have about 30 minutes before i have to leave for class thankfully i am fully dressed hand makeup and everything um no shoes but that's a quick one so i am quite ready to leave so i thought you know what because I want this video to go up tomorrow. Today is Monday. I want it to go up tomorrow. I'm going to have to film it today. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, where should I begin? Maybe from the beginning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I wanted... Okay, I have so many videos that I started to film. But I didn't finish. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm repeating myself when I say this but I went through another slump y'all know I do this like it's not on peppers I just I don't know what happens I can't say overwhelmed okay maybe a little overwhelmed like I have been dominant for a while and for the last two months two and a half months I've been doing school so I kind of lost my groove for a little bit you know i used to post like three times a week uh, um minimum two times a week and i was in the groove and everything so when i started school and it started taking quite a lot of time like it started taking a big portion of my week um i got confused and my brain just stopped working like i couldn't function on all those things together so i had to take a break step back and pre plan basically i had to replan not pre-plan more like replan how i'm gonna um sort of this all these things out you know how i'm gonna balance school my career this is my career like period like i'm going to school to do film if this is not my career path i don't know what it is i make videos <laughs> on the internet i am starting to make i am starting so that i can make videos well longer videos on netflix period so making videos is kind of my thing it's kind of my passion so i am studying it i am doing it so balancing school i had to sit down and like st strategize how i'm gonna balance my school my career social life love life all this kind of thing i don't have a love life i'm just saying those are kind of the parts of me that i have to focus on and i have to give each time like each portion of my life certain amount of time i mean i'm in my early 20s <laughs> honestly the most conf i thought being a teenager was the most confusing part no being uh, in your in your early 20s and sometimes even your late 20s basically being in your 20s is like probably the most confusing part of your life because some of my friends have started their families i'm like the fuck i thought we just graduated from high school well, we don't graduate but i thought we just finished high school we're like <laughs> we're like 16 like yesterday okay but um yeah some of my friends like the people i went to school with some of them are married um some of them have kids um some of them are traveling the world like everyone is doing their own thing and i'm like i'm just i'm a student i live with my mom i just make videos on youtube like i I get it everyone has their own path but it's very confusing because you're not sure exactly what you're supposed to be doing i know for sure i'm not supposed to be in the marriage business <laughs> if you know me you know if you know me personally you know that is like the part of my life i don't like talking about because i have my own freaking views but the point was oh my god i just drifted out of topic the point was okay the point was i needed to look at my life and try and balance all aspects of my life and now i think i got the groove okay i can't be posting three times a week though that's a lie but two times a week 
minimum once a week i am never going to miss uploading any single week and that's sort of plan for myself like one to two videos a week perfect 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 on a good week i can put a bonus video for a third week but that is not a third week a third video but that is like not gonna be very common or often or anything so those are the things i was planning in the middle of the night and yeah now let me tell you something there is this vlog i wanted to vlog however i didn't get to it last weekend not the one that just passed the week uh the weekend for 30th june i went on a trip and i think i told you guys in the last vlog i posted i went on this trip right i was a camping trip with you know um a pa group presidential award group um at school and everything so i went with my schoolmates and stuff and I was supposed to vlog that weekend because I was like, oh my god, camping trip, my first camping trip, oh my god, I'm gonna vlog it. Now, there was not a lot of activities to vlog and the ones that we did were quite dangerous. Not really dangerous, but I could have easily lost a camera or something because we were hiking, literally we climbed a fucking rock. I would never forget. That's like the most dramatic thing I've done in my life, okay? And I've gone on a, a bunch of um, safari tours, like... I have done a nature walk next to freaking animals but climbing a rock was like the worst thing not the worst the most dramatic thing that, that i've ever done in my life basically period period so we did that climbed a rock i swam in a river i don't even fucking swim but i was safe they were there they were watching <laughs> if there was no one there i wouldn't have done it but we had heavy um what's it called floating thingies life-saving thing is so it was all right it was okay the point is the point is i wanted to vlog that weekend however when i got there because we were camping next to a river that was literally a waterfall um i used to call this sagana river but apparently it's the tana river bitch i just kept saying my own shit so i instead had uh i'm gonna call it like I switched up my phone, not really switched up my phone because my mom would have killed me if she found my phone off. Um, I switched off the data. My, I did not go on Instagram, I did not go on social media, I did not go on anything. Not even WhatsApp, I didn't even speak to anybody except calling my mom to update her about my day and everything. Other than that, I did not do anything. I literally switched off social media and just enjoyed nature. Like... I was like, I'm not even gonna film it, I'm gonna enjoy it. I am going to refresh myself because it's been a hectic couple of months, actually I think a hectic couple of years. The last year on YouTube, um, since I started this channel, was work, 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 work. That's why um, on the one year anniversary of this channel, I already had a hundred videos up, period. No joke, I had a hundred videos up. And I have like 17 or so episodes of weekly vlogs, meaning I was filming every single day for almost 17 weeks straight, almost. Cause sometimes I used to skip a week, but still, I was just working, 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 working. Haven't really had a vacation in like, since Corona started. So the plans of starting to travel again are kind of getting me, like I, have this dream of being a solo traveler like oh my god people make it look like the best thing but of course i'm gonna start in the country close by somewhere i can drive to and come back does that make sense like something you know something chill relax relax that's what i'm trying to that's what i'm kind of trying to get into so that's a story for another day however what was i saying yes me and my friends most of the time sat in front of the waterfall and just enjoy the fucking waterfall basically okay my anxiety level was going up and down up and down because hello this is a big body of water and mother nature can decide to do whatever it wants to do and it can overflow but it wasn't raining so i think i was just being dramatic in my head however i was just sitting there watching the water i don't know i just literally forced myself to take that break i took the break and i got so many ideas like I started seeing my channel on a in a different way, okay? I started seeing the mistakes without even opening it. You know, you just kind of know how you do stuff. So, I was kind of seeing my mistakes and, you know, where I need to fix, how I can make my videos better. Just sitting there and watching the waterfall, basically. Basically, I created a way to solve 
my unproductivity okay so this weekend i cleaned up my room like yesterday was my i i i already filmed the reset so you guys are gonna get to see the reset but i literally cleaned up to down like everywhere everywhere closet bathroom everywhere and then i had like a self-care moment and now i feel refreshed okay fine i did not wake up at 7 30 as planned i ended up waking up at almost 10. however it's because i slept late yesterday i was talking to someone <laughs> yes i'm talking to someone move along that's all i have to say about them and he traveled he's in rwanda right now so we're mostly facetiming because i don't think safari Com is available in rwanda because we really can talk the normal talk so it's like you know video calls and stuff but besides the point i kind of slept a little late like a one so that's why i ended up um not being able to wake up as early as i wanted to however my morning class was canceled so i only had the i only have the afternoon class so it's quite okay it's quite okay that's why i even decided to film today oh my god i look cute oh, i look so cute oh also i need to oil this hair though but other than that maybe i should just hold it like this and go to school yeah i can hold it like this and go to school oh my god wow I am going off topic again. It's because I feel like it's itchy and feel like maybe I should oil it. Yeah, I guess I should oil it. Anyway, so that is all about the weekend that I had, that I, the recent moment that I had. Now, if you can see, I got some new tats over here and some new... I think I showed you guys when I was getting it. But I didn't explain to you guys why I got it, okay? This one is just a bonus um, tat. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on, let me see if you guys can see it. Where is the zooming thing on this thing? There we go. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, this was more like a bonus tab because my tattoo artist kind of like wanted to fuck me over because we had made an appointment for 9 a.m. and he didn't show up. Um, I went to his place, to his tattoo studio and everything. And he wasn't really there. I tried to call him and everything, but he wasn't really there. So later on, he gave this as a bonus because he well he wasn't being professional okay anywho so that is just that i just thought you know moon and sun kitty kitty one you know because it was supposed to get um a bonus small tattoo so i took this one it's cute i love it plus the sun and the moon you know Saturn and moons are cute plus i wanted to match this concept so so i have this now this one on the other hand is a big step Okay, this is like a big step because I knew my mom would be, um, she would freak out because of this. So I decided, you know, I'm going to get it because this butterfly could only look nice on my hand. Plus, if I'm going to do hand tattoos, it's going to be on this hand. That's the plan because this hand is never going to have any other tattoo except this one and both. This one, but that is it. However, I just love this. Plus, butterflies basically represent um, in Chinese culture, they represent the beginning of a new life. Like you know, butterflies are what come after the after the but the caterpillars go in the cocoon. Um, they reinvent themselves, whatever. And then oh, they can become a butterfly. So that's the concept. Okay, that's the concept of this tattoo. But it's, it's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty and now I am a red flag to a lot of people, but I also look cool My my kids if I ever gonna have them in the future. They're gonna have the coolest mom <laughs> Or 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 the parent that they're never gonna um let like when they're told when they're sent to get their prince uh, from what am I saying when they're sent to get a parent by the principal I don't think they're gonna want me to go Because <laughs> I can throw hands they're pretty but I can throw them anyway yeah, so I just wanted to explain that because I just showed you guys in the last vlog me getting them, but we never really talked about them at all. So, yeah, will I ever get more tattoos? There is a high chance. There is a high possibility. But as you all know, like, my tattoos have, like, a long period. Like, they have a break between them. Like, I don't get them continuously. Except this and this I got continuously because of the, the same day. But, um... I got the back one. Well, no, I'll show you guys all my tattoos when I feel ready. <laughs> but they're always in different intervals because this one's I got them together. But by the time I got this one was like two and a half years later. And then I got this one last year. So you see, one year later, 
read another one. I tend not to rush through them because again, they're gonna be on my body forever. And for me, I put tattoos um, on very significant times of my life. Except the first set on my back. I was just trying to be, you know, I was just trying to be a teenager. I'm like, I was 16. I'm trying to, you know, do something out of the ordinary. My friends are getting tongue piercings. I got a back tattoo, a spinal tattoo, <laughs> that I think I'm gonna remake some of these days because I feel like it's kind of plain. So I'm gonna add something onto it. Okay, 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 I get it. Okay, I get it. This kind of becomes an obsession because they're pretty. I'm not gonna overdo it, but I'm gonna make them to the point that I feel okay with them. Again, it's my body. <laughs> it's my body. I can do whatever I want. So we have talked about everything. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I just wanted to chat with you guys because it's been a while, it's been a while. However, right now I am really focusing on getting, okay, the one thing I really want to get up and running is my weekly vlogs. I want my weekly vlogs up and running because I used to enjoy making them. Plus, I miss those one hour long videos. Okay, it took two days to edit, but still, I just enjoyed documenting, documenting my everyday life like you know okay it's for you it's for entertainment purposes but it's also for me to look back on you know like if i have like an amazing week i have something to look back on i don't have to you know you can't really take pictures every single day but the fact that i vlog every single day i can just sit down one day and you know watch what my life was you know and i know i'm gonna be doing youtube for a while for a while um i have three years for my degree i'm pretty sure i'm gonna work i'm gonna like do my vlogs for two years my masters i'm planning to do them outside and lord help me in my second year i can go for an exchange program and john not gonna be late because i'm gonna post as so you guys will be like okay hold on hold the fucking phone okay we've seen enough but mostly i decided to take my channel as my personal documentary i am not thinking about it as oh my god would people like this video or oh my god um will it go viral or, oh my god would i get subscribers or oh my god would i do this no no fucking way i am taking my channel as my personal documentary page i'm gonna document my life however i see fit i'm gonna show what i want to show and hide what I want to hide because I'm also kind of a private person is weird I'm an introverted private person however I make videos on YouTube it's ironic but most youtubers are technically introverts because it's way much easier for you to like show your life on like talking like right now i'm talking to myself in the camera there's literally no one i'm in my room there's no one absolutely no one so it's comfortable but i know one day this video is gonna get to like you know thousands of people and at that moment i don't feel like i'm talking to them directly but if i was put in a room with a thousand people i'm gonna fucking panic because the fuck <laughs> my social social anxiety will go like a thousand percent but right now it's not even there because i'm not talking to anyone but i'm talking to you guys but at the moment i'm not talking to anybody so that's the new mindset i have for my channel because you see what i was paying attention to was numbers i kept paying so much attention to numbers that i depressed myself i literally got to a point where i wanted to delete this channel and fuck youtube i was just like fuck this but i forgot the most important part this is not all about the numbers is if you enjoy doing it keep on doing it for me i enjoy doing this i love doing i loved making videos like i do love making videos it's just that the other side of it is the work part and sometimes i start looking at numbers and i get discouraged and everything and that is kind of what i want to ignore right now i'm gonna ignore numbers Fuck them. Okay, they're very important, but I'm not gonna pay attention to them. I'm gonna pay attention to the videos that I am making. Anyway, <laughs> with that said, this was more a life update and um I don't know, emotional part at the end. I don't even know what to call it. But with that said and done, I am back y'all. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Of course you did because I missed you guys so much. Um <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a finish getting ready for school because I'm about to start a weekly vlog. Today's a busy day. Today's a busy day. I hope, I hope, fuck, what am I even saying? Okay, whatever. I don't even know what time is it. My phone is right over there and I can't even see my, my, my walk walk. Basically, I don't know what time is it, but I know I've been filming for 23 minutes right now. 
I can talk. Wow. I can I can really talk. I can really talk. Um yeah guys, so that is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see me more, you know? You know? <laughs> I have the most messiest life probably it's not really perfect it's very authentic I don't even try to make it perfect like if the day is messy the day is messy the day is organized the day is organized that's kind of how I do my videos so if you want to see that raw and unfiltered yay subscribe to my channel and I guess with that guys I'm gonna see you in the next video really I need to go to school bye, -bye.